Hello everyone and welcome into Game 5 of the 2023 World Series between the Western Wolves and Eastern Extreme. The Wolves have come back from a 2-0 deficit and here we are, one game to decide the entire season. Now we've been lucky enough to actually have three winner-take-all Game 5s in the World Series uh, in Big League Wolf Football history. Uh, we'll put those on screen right now, but all three of them will include the Wolves. Right now, we're one and one, and today we're facing the Extreme with a chance to win our second championship uh, in our franchise history, while the Extreme are still looking to get their first title in franchise history. Looking at the numbers, this series, honestly, has been one of the best series, if not the best World Series uh, in the history of Big League Wiffle Ball. Unbelievable game, so close. I will put a graphic on screen to show you just how close this series has been by the numbers. But uh, back and forth, a lot of clutch moments. And right now, it looks like the Wolves have the momentum. Like I said, 2-0 deficit has been blown. And uh, here we are, the winner take all game five. Who knows what's gonna happen? Uh, so yeah, we got nothing else to say. Ladies and gentlemen, the final game of the 2023 season. Here we go. And it is here, game five. Dozens of games in big league wiffle ball throughout 2023, but it all comes down to this. The extreme won games one and two. The Wolves have won games three and four. Somebody is gonna be champion after this game. Oh, and just missed down low. And Rose continues to show different looks. And that's it, three straight. And the question now, they are walking Brody Livingston. And that's it. Oh, and totally ties up Rose. Good change up. Good swing, good pitch. Wolves down to their last out and the hero of game four steps to the plate. Livingston looking sharp here in game. Oh, and Swope rips one into the Oleanders. That's a double. Oh, Umar chooses to play it. Interesting decision by the right fielder. Always at the center of controversy, Umar is. And they walk Rose. Key moment here. Oh, and Luke Rose does it! Swoop's going, oh, Swoop chooses not to go in. A base running mistake. Oh my. Oh, that could be. The decisive moment, Swope should have tried to score on that, chose not to on a bullet from Luke Rose. What a break for the extreme that it hit, hit the sign. And that's strike three. What a break for the extreme. Unbelievable. And that is it on a tough pitch up high. It started in April. We're here in September. The home run derby champion. They're choosing to pitch to Livingston. Interesting, Luke Rose with the play. At first, big moment. Is this it for the two seed? And he chases one way up high. We go to the bottom of the last. And in the phrase of the season, only one team can win. Oh, and Rose takes a walk, bringing up Luke Rose, who finally got on track his last at bat. Drilled one into the scoreboard. Yes, he did. Way outside of the zone, got Rose to chase. Oh, and he pops it up. It looked like it was, oh! Oh my gosh, Umar with the double play. Are you kidding me? 
What a sequence of events that was. Livingston drops it. Umar was right there. Rose tries to tag up and go from first to second on a pop-up, and Umar makes a spectacular defensive play to end the inning. And down goes the little man. Yes, they do. First and second now, one out. 0-2. Oh, and that's 0-3, oh, otherwise known as a strikeout. And that is it. One team can win. Runner starts on second. The hot hitting Rose at the plate. And down he goes on a perfectly located pitch from Livingston. 75. And that's it for the Wolves. We go to extras again. Right up the middle, no play. Oh my, no one was at third ba first base. A mental error for the Wolves. And Rose goes to a weird pitch with the game on the line. Bases loaded, nobody out. And this is the matchup of the entire season. Logan Rose, the commissioner, against Brody Livingston, the home run derby champion. Game five, everything on the line. This. Oh, and he gets Livingston to chase on an inside curveball. Two one count, two outs. Everything on the line. Oh, and he pops it up. Luke Rose makes the play. What a play from the right fielder. And we go to the bottom of the last. 3-2. Quiet at Rose Field. 76. That's a strike. Oh, and a nasty pitch. Ties him up, and it's up to Porter Swope again. Blows it by him at 74. We go to our third extra inning. And that's it for Barrett Livingston. Gets Umar to chase down low. And he loses Barrett Livingston in a moment that could cost the Wolves the championship, bringing Brody Livingston to the plate with the bases loaded and two outs. This, what an advantage for the extreme right here. And Rose walks Barrett Livingston, walks Brody Livingston, and that could be it for the Wolves. Oh, he hits a grand slam! Reed Umar may have won it all for the Eastern Extreme. A grand slam off Logan Rose. He knew it as soon as he hit it. Oh my. That walk to Barrett Livingston was a killer for the Wolves. That is devastating. The Extreme take a five to nothing lead. Reed Umar, payback for yesterday, staring at Logan Rose.
And is that another home run? It is a seven to nothing game as Brody Livingston hits a two run shot. The extreme. And that's it, but not before the extreme gets seven runs. I'm good. I'm ready already. Here we go. Rose hits a single to left. Barrett Livingston fields it. Luke Rose, where were these hits earlier? Logan Rose goes to third. We have a 7-1 ball game, second and third. Could be too little too late. The Wolves had chance after chance after chance with runners on base after their incredible comeback being down two games to nothing. Porter Swope at the plate. Porter Swope puts it. Yes, it hits the bat. 7-2 ball game and still nobody out. Three straight hits to start the bottom of the fifth for the Wolves. Showing fight, showing a championship spirit. Down low. And that's the first out. The Wolves continue to threaten. And that's it, three tough pitches and they are one out away from their first championship. It's only appropriate that it comes down to Brody Livingston against Logan Rose. Down low. Stream on the threshold of a championship. Good swing from the commissioner. One wide, two outs. Just missed up top. The Wolves are down to their last strike in the 2023 season. Will we have a new champion succeeding the Pacific Panthers? A first ever for the extreme. 2-2, two -two. not yet. 3-2, two. two outs. Championship pitch. Yes, it was 77. Oh my, not over yet. Is that a ball? Yeah. Full count. 7-2. Two. two outs. MVP candidates facing off. And that's it. He checks them out. Then we have a new champion. The number two seeded Eastern Extreme have defeated the Western Wolves in an epic five game series that saw everything. Controversy, home runs, great defense, and unlikely heroes. Great pitching for Brody Livingston. Clutch grand slam from Reed Umar. And we have a new champion. Congratulations to the Eastern Extreme. I'm here with the Eastern Extreme, who are now the fourth champion in four years in Big League Wiffle Ball. Uh, congratulations to you guys. Thank you. Hard fought series. Let's go, boys. And I'm going to start with Brody, who is our World Series MVP. You pitched pretty like insane for this weather, for the circumstances. I want to focus on the extra innings where you were like really, I mean, you guys were tied with us and a lot of pressure on you right there. Like, talk about those innings and how much it meant to get out of them scoreless. I mean, to be honest, I was getting kind of lucky on some of them and then others, I just kind of, I don't know, I had like a little mental talk, just had to push through it. I mean, it was hot out. I 
couldn't really feel any of my body, so I just kind of I just kind of kept going. So that's all I have to say. Then Barrett, big time walk, paved the way uh, for Brody to get the first run across the board. Uh, talk about that at bat and what you were told. Um, Brody at second said, "Don't swing," <laughs> and I said, "No." <laughs> So he didn't swing. He didn't swing. Live by. Very similar to last year, Declan Sabian in the Diamonds, which you were a part of as well. And then Reed, obviously the go-ahead home run, uh, really paved the way for you guys to win this World Series. Talk about your, uh, you know, like improvement throughout this playoffs uh, that kind of culminated in that event. I mean, having to face you every time, I never knew what pitch I could expect, but you know, I saw where that last one was going, and I'm just like, this is my pitch. I took it, I let some words fly on accident, but you know, it was worth it, and here we are. Here we yep. are. Yep, so I'll let you guys celebrate. Congratulations. Oh. Don't you know, pump it up, you got to pump it up, up, up.